What is going on guys? I'm MKC Technology here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to overclock the AMD Radeon RX 560. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now. Like for more videos, comment down below on what you think about this video, but try not to put any bad comments. With that being said, let's get started. Now, this tutorial will work on all versions of the RX 560, which include the two, the two gigabyte model, the four gigabyte model, the RX 560D, and including the regular RX 560, and the ones even the ones without the PCIe power connection. So, in order to overclock the RX 560 or the Radeon RX 560 from AMD. The first thing you want to do is go into your internet browser and download MSI Afterburner. Once you have it downloaded and installed, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up MSI Afterburner. As you see here, I already have it installed on my computer, so I don't have to install it again. So let me go ahead and open up MSI Afterburner. And as you see here, my GPU or my Radeon RX 560 is running at stock speeds. Now, for those that are curious, what uh, brand of uh, what brand of graphics card or Radeon RX 560 am I running? I'm running a Gigabyte Gaming OC Radeon RX 560 4 gigabyte model. This is the one with all of its its shaders, but it does not have the PCIe connection. So. In order to grab, uh, in order to overclock this graphics card, um, specifically the Radeon RX 560, what you want to do is go into your uh, power limit and set that to a power limit of 35. Now go ahead and hit the check mark. After you've done that, what you want to do is set your core clock or megahertz to 1375. Now you can get this higher if you set a power limit of 42, but to keep it safe, we're going to keep it just how it is. Now for your memory clock, we're going to set it to 2000. And for our fan speed, now obviously our graphics card needs a lot of cooling and you can keep your graphics card um, quiet by keeping it on automatic so that when so that when your graphics card gets too hot, the fans will automatically kick up. So that's something that you can do, but what I like to do is I like to put the fan speed on manual mode and then I like to kick up the fan speed all the way up to 100. Now, when I hit the the check box or the check mark, you might hit the, you might hear the fans on my graphics card kick up. I don't know if you will, but you might hear it. So let me go ahead and click the check box right here. And I don't know if you heard it, but the fans on my graphics card graphics card just kicked up. Now, you can get the core clock of this graphics card up to 1420. But in order to do that, you'll need to set your power limit to 42. And then you will need to set your core clock up to 1420. And then hit OK. And there you have it. Now, it's now up to 1420. You can do, hold on, 1420. Okay, enter. There you go. And then hit that. So it's now up to 1420. You can, you can probably get it up to 1450 if you have a PCIe power connection just to give it a little bit more juice or what or whatnot. But since mine doesn't have a PCIe power, power connection, then I can't really run it that high. You probably cannot get it up to or pa get it past 1420 if you have a PCIe power connection I don't know I'll probably have to get a uh, RX 560 with the PCI power connection but uh, that's just what this is just what I have for now so 
I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. All the links to my social media are in the description box down below. So please be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. With that being said, I'm MKC Technology. I'm out. Peace. Brother, let's call it in the crossfire.